This is the Transformers Masterpiece MP10B Destron Unicronian Herald Black Convoy, otherwise known as the MP10 Nemesis Prime by Takara Tony. And I have been hunting this figure down for the longest time ever since I picked up the MP10 uh, Masterpiece uh, by Hasbro. And it, it has been very, very difficult. And for some reason, the Takara Tomi Black Optimus Prime figures are just the most expensive Optimus Prime figures out there. And it, it's been very difficult to find one. My good buddy Joshua and Bene, they were able to track down a collector who was letting go of his Transformers. He was down to his last three pieces. The Year of the Horse Optimus Prime, the mp5 gold megatron and this one so he was trying to sell it and selling it as a lot and my good buddies they told me hey you're looking for a nemesis prime masterpiece right and i was like yeah so we got it at a good price and it's it's been uh it, it's not 100 percent mint but it's in very good condition and for the price it was go it, they were selling for it for i was I, I I was pretty much okay with it. So very, very nice. Very, very excited to finally have this one. One of my toy grails down. Tick that off and just enjoy this figure. And what an amazing figure it is. I mean, the MP10 was really an amazing uh, skull. It was an amazing figure. And to do it in black in the Evil Optimus Prime version. Oh, my goodness. It is... Ugh. Man, <laughs> I can't help but gush over this figure. I mean, a lot of reviewers have already viewed this the same one. It's the same plastic, but my thoughts exactly are just you know, if you can, if you if you're a big Optimus Prime fan, no matter how bad he's become in this iteration, it is one of those figures you must have in your collection. So, um, it's not it's not gonna be a long review. It's, it's just a recolor, so there's not going to be much changes about it. So this figure will be all about gushing on how good black and chrome looks, uh, how good it looks on, on this guy. So he still has the uh, power axe, the energy axe. Uh, speaking of the MP10, here is the Year of the Horse Optimus Prime. And they look so good together. Gold and silver, red and black. Oh man, keep that there. Uh, so he does retain the axe. Now it's done in red, clear plastic. Uh, there's a little bit of a plastic tarnish here and there, right there. That's uh, not so bad. Okay, um, he's got his uh, blaster. I'm just standing off correctly. Okay. Okay. It does retain that gimmick. Oh, come on, man. Make me look bad. It's a little bit loose, but that's okay. I, I had a difficult time, like, uh, getting it into the cocked position. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Tap that to the side. And as you can see, I give you a closer look at the head sculpt. Wow. I just, wow, black is always good. It looks always, it always looks good on Optimus Prime. Just appreciate this redeco for a minute. See those green highlights, chrome. There's a little bit of a tarnish here. I think he displayed this one in bot mode and, or truck mode, I, I'm not sure. But there's a little bit of a tarnish right here. And one of the wheels, one of the rims of the wheels has a little bit of a yellowing on it. But that's fine, you know, that's it, fine. It's nothing that a little bit of polish can do, can fix. So to the back, everything seems, oh, even this uh, metallic, not metallic, but a little bit of a silver, matte silver finish onto it. Just really nice. Got rubber tires, rubber is still okay. It's 
Got some silver paint on the side of the arm. The Decepticon logo. Just absolutely brilliant. He does have the dark matrix or dead matrix, I think that's what they call it. That's what the instructions at least calls it. Okay. Here you go. The dead matrix. That's not blue, it's red. That's like gunmetal gray in the inner sphere, and then that's chrome on the outsides. So that's pretty cool. And speaking of the manual. Here's the box. The box is a little bit banged up. That's no problem. There you go. Ah, here he is with the MP10. Very nice. And uh, anybody interested in the uh, here you go. Here's the manual. Dead Matrix, I was right. Laser blaster, battle axe. Wow, oh, Takara Tome, come on, man. Very nice. Okay. okay. All right. And on to the main figure itself. Very, very nice. There's a little bit of an issue closing the chest flush. It should be like this, but somehow it just does not want to close in as flush as that one. A little bit of degradation, maybe, I don't know. So articulation, he still retains all the possible articulation that the MP10 had. Um, waist, ratchets, ratchets. As you can see in my opening pose, that was a very articulated. Uh, you can get him in a really nice stance and pose. So that's, that's robot mode. Let's get him into truck mode. This is really where the magic is, in truck mode. Oh my goodness. Okay, stand him up. Okay. Let's do the arms first. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail of this one because you already know how he transforms. Based on the MP10 uh, figure, the original MP10 and that one. Just get him into truck mode. Yeah, I know I could just edit it, but you know. okay, 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 okay. Twist it like that. Press this, and this was my mistake when I was reviewing that year of the horse, <laughs> Optimus Prime. I, I did. I just slammed the feet. You can work, but you you run the risk of breaking that thing. Okay. Anyway, hold this one in. This one. And for those of you who still have no idea how the MP10 mold transforms, where well, here you go. Uh -huh. Just slide these feet together like that. And he has a, he has a little bit of a, tr well, a little bit of trouble um, keeping together, but that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Okay. All right. Bring this up. Untab this piece. There. And before you, you do anything, this is the one you want to move out of the way. Open these, open these, these, right. I forgot you can store the gun right here. There. The axe has no place to store it, unfortunately. As always. So, okay. Come on, stick. Right. Okay. Just gonna sit right there okay now this this is the only fall this is the fall grill this is the real grill right here and you're gonna open up this one you can keep the matrix in but 
I thought it was best to just leave it out. Yeah, there is a way you, you, you can keep that medium, but I don't know. Sometimes it, I'm, I'm afraid it's going to fall off if you're not careful, but let's see. Yeah, it should stay nicely in place right there. Okay, and then these, these are a little bit loose. His ear spikes, the helmet, these spikes are a little bit loose, but that's fine. Uh, okay, just be careful. Maybe you should, uh, or fold them up. No, just, they just stay right there. Okay. And then these fold right here. Okay. Just like the cartoon, the G1 cartoon. See, there's a little bit of tarnish right here. This one's fine. And this one is a little bit of a gold, yellowish chrome compared to this one. We'll get to that in a while. Well, I'll get to that now. And open this. Yeah, there's a little bit of a difficulty keeping uh, the legs uh, tabbed in. I, I, I got it the first time around. I just don't know why it's not cooperating right now. There you go. Okay, there is Nemesis Prime, or the Black Convoy, in his truck. One, as I mentioned, there's a little bit of a gold. It looks more white gold than silver. It should be like this. It should be like that. And then again, the it's a little bit of a tarnishing uh, on, on the chrome, the vac metal paint there, as compared to this one. But that's fine. The thing looks magnificent. Yeah, I just get rid of this. Open that up. Wow. Uh, you a better appreciation of this thing and it rolls okay and man optimus in black loving it just really loving this one this thing is going to stay in box i think i don't think i can, I can display it any further because it's that black i don't want it ruined by dust or sunlight and all that and it has the same features you can still put spike or whoever you want to put there if you wanted to a small figure but yeah just generally pleased with it. It's obviously going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. So, really, really nice. I mean, if you can get this one at a good price for a back-in-box or loose-in-box type figure, go get it. I mean, it is definitely worth the money. I have no regrets with this one. Just really nice addition to my Optimus Prime uh, collection. So, there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Transformers masterpiece mp10b destron unicronian herald the black convoy or the mp10 nemesis prime version by takara tomi thanks for watching